Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about a problem from lead code. It's a medium problem. The problem name is remove duplicates from sorted array part 2. So I've already uploaded a video for part 1 so go check it out. I will also tag that in the i button. You can also check it from there. So the second problem is that you're given an integer array nums sorted in a non-decreasing order. Now remove some duplicates in place such that after each duplication any number should be at most two times present okay uh, since it is impossible to change the length of the range some of the languages you have to somewhat so what your main task is somewhat just only put the elements that are at most two times present okay because we're working with c plus plus we can remove the elements using vectors so it's not probably for us but what you are actually have to return is the length of the array after deleting out some of the numbers such that the array should be sorted it should be in place as well as the array should be having any number at most two times that's the overall problem now because it is sorted okay so it is all like it is already sorted out you don't have to sort it out i just have to remove this part out don't actually have to sort it out now what actually happens here is that it is already sorted because the problem also say that don't use any extra space like how can you do that in extra space can you first think of that so let's say that you have some numbers let's say one appears five times okay two appears three times and so on now what you can actually do is you can make a new array and just any number whatever occurrence it is if it is one or two you actually just put that number in that occurrence so let's say or let's say five occurs one time so you will put one occurs five times so but you want at most two times so you will just put one and one rest of the numbers you just leave because you don't want that for two occurs three times so again you put two two times because you want only two times now five occurs one time so you will put five one time and so on so you have the array formed and you can do this in making this as a map as well as this is an array so o of n space is required but because you don't want to take any space the best option is to have the array whatever array you have so let's say the array is let's say one 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 then two is occurred four times what two 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 then let's say five occurs two times and six occurs one time now what's the best way possible is to remove all the elements that are excess and that are unusable for us that are just incrementing the frequency so what you can directly do is you can just take some counter let's say equal to counter let's say counter variable okay and what you can directly do is you can start from this index let's say okay because one element can always be there so don't start from zero to index start from an index and match it with the previous number if they are same increment the counter which means that the counter always start from value one because there is already one element always one element like of one type so if it is already one type you have seen one more type so increment it by two then you again go to this element and check it with the previous number so now they both are same which means that th two has like one has occurred three times now go to this index check it with the previous number it is not occurred so which means that we have the count that this number has occurred three times but we only want it two times so what you can add it to is that you can remove out this element so what you can do is that whenever the counter value has incremented a certain value that is equal to 2 whatever number which comes which is similar to this number just delete it from the vector we are talking about c plus plus or whatever array you have just remove it from the vector and similarly whenever you see a new number now which means that you have a fresh number from start from so you will again make your counter equal to 1 because this is a already a 1 number so it has occurred 1 times you move to this number it has occurred 2 times now it has moved like move to this number it has occurred 3 times so just move this element now uh, go to this element this again again one more time so remove this element up till you it is same as this number now move down to next number it is a new number so make your counter again equal to 1 now it has moved on to this number counter become 2 but it is still acceptable when you move on to this number yeah again it's a number so make your counter equal to 1 and so on so you have the final array and because you have removed the elements whatever the final array is left that's the particular answer just re return the length of the array that's the overall thing and you have to modify it so this is the counter this is equal to i which we are using to iterate over this whole array we are doing a while loop because the size of the array is like changing out whenever a size is fixed use for loop but whenever the size is changing because we are deleting out the elements it's better to use while loop because that will become very easy because you do not know the size so 
till my i is less than equal to nums of size that is changing what i'll do is i will just check that whether my i and i minus 1 like both the elements the previous to it if it is same and my c is less than 2 which means that i have less than two elements i've seen i incremented by c which means that i've seen one more time and i will go to the next integer but if they both are same and c is greater than equal to 2 which means that i've already seen two numbers more than 2 so what i'll do i'll just er erase the current number i am on because it is already more than 2 so i'll just erase the number and my i will not increase no Or my C because I've deleted that number. I will also not increase because I've not moved to the next number. The current number is already deleted, so I, by default I move to the next number. Okay. And if the numbers are not different, so these are the cases if the number are same. If the number are not different, what I'll do? I'll just move my I to the next number because we have the different number and C equal to one, which I've told you that I've started afresh, so C becomes equal to one. And whatever has done after this whole iteration, I have the final array that has the modified numbers. Which which are at most equal to two, so I just return in the answer is the size of the array that is modified, and that's all the logic and code part for this problem. As you can see, that this is an O of n operation only, so it will take O of n time complexity as well, and this is an in place because I'm not using any extra space. These are just O of one space requiring variables, so nothing extra space is required. So that's the overall logic and code part for this problem. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Till then, keep coding and bye.